Hey guys, and what is going on? David back with another uh, Ninjago review, and today we're going to be reviewing the 70745 Anachondri A Crusher set. This set retails for $19.99 US dollars, and it contains 219 pieces and is ranging from ages 7 to 14. Now, I picked this set up at Walmart. And this set, believe it or not, was $16.24. So I basically got a really good deal for this set, and so that's why I brought it here to review for you guys. Alright, now let's get to the minifigures. Alright guys, so here is Kai in his jungle or Azuken uniform, whatever you like to call it. So as you guys can see, he has a really, really nice uh, front torso printing, along with really nice uh, leg printing. And as you guys can see, he does have the elemental symbol right on his uh, forehead. <laughs> uh, it's his ninja mask, and I believe that that stands for fire. I'm not really sure, though. And once you turn the minifigure around, you guys can see that he does have a really new piece. or I mean, a really cool piece that is new for the 2015 LEGO season. And so here's a look at his back printing with that new piece removed. And here's a look at him on the front without that new piece. And here's what Kai looks like under his ninja mask. And here's what Kai looks like with the two golden katanas that I, as I mentioned before, are included in the set and so over here is what the new piece looks like so now let's get on to the next minifigure that is included in this set or right, guys so here is crate and he does contain a very nice uh, front torso printing and leg printing so I'm just turn him around a little bit so that you guys can see what he looks like and then the anachondrite blade is also a very nice weapon very detailed as well and i really do like the two types of plastic that they use in the sword and then here's just a look at him from the back camera focus a little bit there we go um and now we can take off his mask right here and show you guys what he looks like without that mask. Pretty cool minifigure. So now let's get on to the two main builds that we have in the set. Alright guys, so here are the two major builds of the set. We have this little tiny catapult that Kai is basically screwed with in the set. And we have the Anachondri Crusher. So honestly, this set looks pretty, pretty cool. So basically over here, let me just zoom in a little bit. Uh, you guys can see that Kai has his little catapult area. Um, and it does have this really nice jungle piece on the back. And so basically with all the major Lego catapults, you can just fling it and it will shoot. And you do have an extra two catapult pieces over there. And then these two flame pieces. And so you can just reload it and fire it again if you feel like it. And so that's basically it for the catapult. And then here we have the Anachondri Crusher. This is the thing that you basically get the set for. Now if you're a really hardcore LEGO Ninjago fan, then you definitely need multiples of these to have your Anachondri Cultist Army expand. And finally, attack New Ninjago City. I have no idea what I just did. An attack. It sounded like I was a goat or something. Or a sheep. <laughs> um, so, let me just move the catapult out of the way. And basically, just focus on the Anachondri Crusher. Okay, there we go. So, here is how the thing looks. It's honestly pretty menacing. Let me take the box out of the way, too. So basically, here's what the Crusher looks like. 
and we get the tail back there perfect so basically the main function that you guys can see is the spinning blades um but those actually work when you push the thing along and you guys can actually see the two flick fire missiles that we have in there but they're actually activated by a lever on the back of the vehicle and so as you guys can see this is the piece right here um this is the head of the snake and actually the two pieces under here are stickers so if you take that off these are stickers as you guys probably saw me put them on um in my speed build of this set and so when you just put this back on it's a pretty nice face and the mouth can open oh wait whoops open back and forth and you just want the mouth fully open if you want to uh, use the flick fire missiles in there and so basically what you can do is to activate this feature is just move the thing along as you guys can see it doesn't really work that well on the carpet but it's gonna work really well on uh, hardwood floors if you guys have any so you know there is the front feature and of course Let's see the Anaconda Crusher crush Kai and his little catapult. Let's go. Or some, something like that. Let's have Kai just stand there alone. Pretty screwed. And then... <laughs> so that was actually pretty cool. Um, the set, I honestly really do like for that feature. Boom. Boom. Or something like that. Um, but one thing that I really don't like about the set is that, you know, when you lift it up, it's going to basically look like this. And my, I actually showed this to my dad once I built it. And he was like, oh, so does it transform into a helicopter? I honestly kind of wish that it did have that transforming feature. Like uh, most of the Chima sets do. So, like, I wish that they would have did something to incorporate these so like, you know, you would still have this play feature, but you can also have like a helicopter feature, like, I don't know, just something like that would have been nice. Um, but you do get these really nice gong pieces um, that are used on the wheels. Um, these really nice stone wheels look really cool. And on the back, you do have the tail. Really nice tail, it does swing back and forth, and you can also move the tail up and down and you do also have this skeleton piece the skeleton torso and then a little spike on the end and then if you guys can kind of see over here you do have a wrench which you can pull out from this clip and yeah you could basically just store it in there if you ever need to do any repairs on the vehicle or if Crate has to do any repairs on the vehicle. And basically, here's this lever I was talking to you guys about. You basically push it, and then the flick fire missiles will come out. So, let's just push it here. And then I already saw the two flick fire missiles uh, get out. But let me do it from the front so that you guys can see uh, what it looks like. So, you basically just load the missiles into the mouth of the vehicle. And then here you have the vehicle. And let me just press that lever. So yeah, uh, they do fire pretty well. Let's put Kai here. And let's see if he, the vehicle will actually take down Kai. So you're just place in the missiles. And now you will fire right at Kai. So let's see how it does. Yeah, I kind of say it took him down. I could say, yeah, did take him down. So, I'm just going to put these to the side so that you guys can see. Basically, there is a hood on this vehicle. Um, right here, it's the engine. And so, you can basically adjust the torso piece. And there is the uh, sticker. That is a sticker, unfortunately. But it's a pretty nice sticker. 
It's a pretty nice sticker, if I might say so myself. And then, basically over here, you just have this little piloting area. Which, uh, you could basically just take out crate. And as you guys can see, just a very nice area. And these are the handlebars that you would use to control the vehicle. So overall, I really do like the design of the vehicle. It looks really nice. And this play feature is very nice. I just wish that they would have done something even greater with that. And I don't like how when you're going to transport it, it's just like wobble around. And, you know, just makes it feel really weird. Now let's get on to the final verdict of the set. Alright guys, so overall it's a very nice set. I also did forget to tell you guys that there is a three sticker sheet right here. Contains three stickers. And also you do get this really cool instruction manual, but you also get these uh, extra pieces. Let me just get them and show them to you guys. Uh, these are the extra pieces that you do receive in this set. So quite a few. And the instruction manual, what I found pretty weird about the manual itself, was that there were no advertisements for any of the new Ninjago sets. You just had the Lego Ninjago.com, the play features, and then over here were the pieces, and then here's the build. There wasn't really an advertisement for any of the new 2015 sets. So that was pretty weird to me, but overall, just a great set. I really did like the set. Um, I really did like enjoy building the set, and the back of the box is very nice. Really nice box art on the back. And so overall, so really nice set. And I'm gonna have to rate it a nine. Um, I really do like it. Um, it the play features are all right. Um, they are actually pretty nice. The thing is, is that I can't really crush anything. It's just gonna move it out of the way. But you know what can you expect from a toy? Um, so overall, very nice set. I really do like it. Looks really nicely detailed, but it also looks weird. But I guess that's what makes the set unique. And so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want me to review some more Ninjago sets, please leave a like down below. And I'm going to try my best to get a couple of other Ninjago 2015 sets. So without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Ciao, guys, and hope you guys have a great day.